Hello everyone, Josh here, and uh, today we're going to be showing you how to make sure that you can get uh, perfect transfers on those light gradients uh, using the Ghost Toner system. As you know with the Ghost Toner system, uh, we're, you know, for to get the white uh, on a cyan, yellow, magenta, black, and white image, we're going to have to either run the transfer through twice or apply the white layer to the substrate first and then the cyan, yellow, magenta, and black layer on, directly on top of it afterwards. Um, that you know works a majority of the time, but in some cases it doesn't work, especially when you're, you're going to be using a um, vector art that has a lot of light gradients, as you can see right here. Um, and you know you won't always get a solid adhesive cover um, like you get here uh, if you're just going to be doing straight cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. So here we have our first image. As you can see, we've got some very light, almost white gradients uh, at the top and bottom. So that would be some serious issues when we're trying to attach some uh, adhesive to it with these two-step papers. And then here you can see we've got a very light skin tone here on the head. Um, and so that's going to give us some issues, especially around where you can see the goggles. All right, so here I am in Final Master DSR. So with this image, we've got a gradient here. So when we do the, uh, if we were to do the two transfer method where we apply the white layer to the garment and then the CMYK layer to it afterwards, um, you would lose a lot of your color here because when you apply the adhesive to this one um, or your CMYK layer, uh, it's not gonna stick everywhere because there's not enough toner and it's, that's gonna really show here in these lighter gradient areas. Um, so. Uh, let's talk about this one here um, because you know it's got a lot of gradients especially here doing the two-step method it's not going to work um, so we'll have to come up with a way to cover uh, you know the um, registration errors um, and for the text you know what we could do we could just not have that um, and but you know we can either make it smaller and hope it works but uh, that's not going to work for his head so what I'm thinking is to apply a white outline to him just a little bit and around that and you know maybe the text and just kind of make it like one thing um, but uh, you know we'll just see what you think about that um, so here we go and same thing here there so first thing we're gonna do is just select our object then I'm gonna go over here to the contour cut create contour cut yes uh, you know, include their auto traced contours. Yes. Then, you know, got it here. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the, you know, because we've got this small little hook right here. I want to make sure I get it. So I'm going to turn, you know, that, uh, this doesn't matter. This is just so I can see my preview, you know, the two colors. Um, so make sure that your tolerance is all the way up because if it's not, like say if we got it at 74, we go to trace. Notice how it cut out those circles. Uh, you see, and now I'm using it properly. You see how it didn't get in there? So let's retrace the tolerance all the way up. Minimum size, turn it down to zero. That way, you know, we get even the smallest finest things so like this tiny little hole here the trace okay now I've got a nice contour around everywhere and I'm happy hit apply next and these are sharp so just bring it in Not smooth bring my contour in About half. All right. It's good. Going all the way around. No holes. It's gonna cover up all the white. Ah, let me just see if I go smooth. Yeah, that's better. That way, it's not so close. Gonna give me some room. What if I just do round? Mm, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Yeah, I'll just keep it round. Except now, I got that. Uh, click over here. You know, see that's just my contour selected. I'm just gonna hit copy. Go over here to my blank page. Hit paste. And then I'm gonna paint it black. And there we go. So here we've got the printed image. 
and it's going to be the one where we ran it through twice uh, where we took that contour line and brought it in just a little bit and as you can see uh, you know we've got that thick black outline so that's going to hide any registration errors and this turned out wonderful when we ran it through twice um, so you know really easy to fix this one you just run it through twice uh, just streak your little white underfilling layer as shown and uh, you're going to get some really nice Now you can see that I've left it on the uh, heating pad so that it stays nice and warm while I do my peel. Um, and I've got a nice, slow, smooth peel. Until the end here, I kind of just pull it too hard. Um, and I lost a little bit on the B sheet. So you don't want to do that. You just want to keep it nice and steady and have a good finish at the end. But here you can see we've got the full gradient. The adhesive covered every single bit of it. So it's looking really, really nice. Um, and yeah. So next we're going to move over to the uh, CMYK uh, one where we're going to do the two-step method and you can already see through it it's a really translucent 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 but we're going to go ahead and apply the adhesive to it anyway just so that we can have a good example here so again uh, forever laser dark 90 seconds uh, 300 degrees is what I'm doing and so I'm going to take it and peel it and as you can see, once I my hand gets out of the way, um, you can already see through it. And you know, we don't have like where the gradient is, you can see through that. Um, so, like, look, you can see we didn't get any adhesive on that gradient, you can clearly see through it. So, that's not going to transfer over too well. Um, and then, you know, if we take a look at the adhesive, we'll even see that some of the toner is still left over there. So, um, let me just straighten it out here. You can see I got some of my edges because I yanked it, but then right there, see that? That's that gradient. And when we transfer that on top of the white, you know, it's the color's not gonna be the way we want it. So here I've got my white under filling layer, nothing special there. This is gonna transfer great because it's a solid fill of white toner. But again, Forever Laser Dark, uh, it's a two-step application paper. Um, 90 seconds, 300 degrees Fahrenheit for my press when I'm pressing the A and B sheets together. And you know, solid toner, just like I said, uh, it's gonna have a solid transfer. And so you can see why this would have a benefit of being that underfilling layer uh, when we ran the transfer through twice. So next we've got this guy. Um, so this one's gonna be a little bit harder uh, because you know when you try to do it if put the you know the cyan yellow magenta layer and then the white layer separate it's going you know with the color of his head and his tone it doesn't work uh, with the transfer so you've got to do this one you know with a two pass by putting a white layer underneath it and you know it's not gonna work that well with the registration I mean because if you try to make it smaller then his head is gonna be weird and so best things to do is to make an outline for this so that's just some of the limitations we have with ghost so now what we're gonna do is you know, start with my contour and I'm sure that you have an easier way to do this uh, but, you know I'm sure if you're more familiar with Photoshop it's gonna be easier for you to do it that way um, you know, really you can just do it several ways um, but I'm gonna do it here and include the text try to include these but with them all being close together uh, this might be a little bit harder uh, but uh, I'll just go ahead and hit trace all right apply it around increase it all right and then take out the key poles Boom. all right so now we got a solid right there um, what if I bring it in just a little bit? Let me just take it out to seven. Look at that. All right. So that's a little small. This is kind of disconnected. I'm trying to. Yeah. So that's really disconnected there. So you got two connected there. So you got two separate. Accept that. Copy it, paste it, make it dark. Let's do the same here. Um, make it gray. 
and contour cut. Yes, um, my tolerance is still set to 200. And uh, I'm gonna keep holes, trace it. Apply. Take away my key poles. So that's going to touch. What I could do with the image is move those and separate them a little bit more. That way I don't have them touching. Uh, but yeah, accept it. And we'll go to print and press. Oh, wait, turn it black. Don't forget. There you go. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to show you the CMYK layer one. Uh, and we already know how that's going to go from earlier in the video. I'm going to press it. Uh, the adhesive's not going to have enough toner uh, in some of the lighter areas for it to transfer over to. Um, and it's just going to look kind of messy. Uh, as I do the peel, you can already see, bam, a lot of the uh, toner transferred over to the B sheet. Um, and so that's really going to mess with the color when we apply that on top of the white layer. So um, let's go ahead and move over to the layer I did, with, or the one I did with the white background. And um, as you know, uh, you can see we've got the solid white background there. Um, the middle one, you know, where his hand is, there's too much white. I would edit it, but uh, you know, I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Um, so that can that can be done at a later time. So we've got that white background. And so you already know, just from what we've already seen in the video, that because it's there, we're going to have a nice solid transfer um, wherever uh, you know the adhesive is. So here we are pressing the white layer to the shirt first. And you know, this method can work really well for some designs, but it's not going to work with this design because we've got those really light gradients. As you've seen from when we're transferring the cyan, yellow, magenta, and black layer, a lot of the color will stay on the B page where you've got those really light, almost white gradients. Um, but I really wanted to give a live example. That way you can see it. And you know, because the last thing I really want anybody to do is to waste money, um, you, know, we could, you know, with this. Because you know, when you're getting the ghost, I imagine that you know you're trying to you know work your way up to the bigger printer you know uh, that can do all these in like single pass. So you know you need to save as much money as possible, and that's why I'm doing these videos because you know I want to help people um, you know get to that next level, and you know I think Ghost is a really good tool to do that. Um. Okay, so here we are uh, at the main event. <clears throat> So we'll just go ahead and peel it off. Uh, then this is, you know, after my pre-press. Um, and so this is what the final result would look like. And if we'll just look here real close, you can see that, you know, a lot of the white is showing through. There's not really much of that uh, tan peachy complexion. You can see it's speckled. That's because, you know, you remember you saw a lot of that toner stuck on the uh, B sheet. Same thing with the other ones. Now let's uh, take a look at the uh, skull here. Now. Uh, you notice how it looks kind of like light gray instead of black. That's what happens, you know, um, and you know, it's kind of spotty. That's because, you know, we've got that adhesive underneath it and that's going to do that sometimes. So and now we head over to the main event that everybody wants to see. Um, we've got the uh, press with the full cyan yellow magenta black and um, <clears throat> white layers. And, you know, you can already see that um, the little guys like, see, there's the original one, and then there's a new one. You know, much better clarity, you can see it, you know, it's darker. And then here, over here with these guys, you know, you've got all of the skin tone coming through. The gradients on the tank look fine. The glasses showed up perfect. Um, so everything that we wanted to transfer compared, you know, way better than the other one that's right above, as you can see right there. And the downside is, you know, we have to have that, you know, surrounding white layer. That's just to make up for, uh, you know, the registration issues but you can cover it up using techniques like that um, but as you can see much better color it's you know darker your reds are redder everything just looks better uh, when you do the uh, two step when you run the transfer through twice um, especially with these decals here so 
If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about the Ghost White Toner system, you can check out some of my other videos here. We have the Ghost Boot Camp over here on the left, and then a little bit about the uh, Laser Light, and when you might have to use white toner when printing on white t-shirts over here on the right. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.